not important. Things that are negative and, not, and, and, and we compromise our faith for are things that can lead us even to fall if we are not very careful. My, 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 my challenge, my, or my uh, whatever to us tonight, is that we need to continually check ourselves. Continually ask God to help us even in areas that we think that we are that we are standing because none of us have the power or the grace that can help us accept the grace of the almighty God. Samson was going about signing his own disgrace certificate and also his own death warrant. So he, he moved from his place of assignment to the place where he was going to meet his death. And actually, from in that verse 16, it was this woman that he went to meet. This, uh, okay. And, and it was after this woman that he met Delilah. And that one helped to finish the work. Number five. He relied on his own power and not on the power of the Almighty God. If we read through the life of Samson very well, it was only twice that he called on the Almighty God. The first time was when he defeated the, he, he killed about, I think, about, about 7,000 men of the Philistines with a donkey jawbone. And when he was finished and he was thirsty, he said, Lord, I am thirsty. The second time was when he was about to die. He said, Oh Lord God, remember me. How long? Will we depend on ourselves? The Bible says that woe unto, woe unto that person that rely on the strength of Egypt. Sorry. Woe unto them that go unto Egypt for help. You look at man, you look at yourself, and think that it is only you that can, that can take care of yourself. You need as Christian to continually on a daily basis rely on the power of the almighty god we need we can, there is nothing that we can do of our own in john 15 john chapter 15 verse 1 verse 1 to 5 and in, in paraphrase god the bible says that without me you cannot do anything without me you cannot do anything something had all it takes to be the greatest of all times it had all it takes blessed by the Almighty God, separated unto him, given the power he could kill, with, he, could, he could fight wars with, with, with his bare hands. He could do things that ordinary men could not do. But unfortunately, because of lack of character, the weakness of his attitude became the weakness of his character. And the weakness of his character led him even to do the things that well, don't, that led him to, to the place where he found himself at the end of the day. Character is the real foundation of all worthwhile successes. The real foundation. And it is your conduct. And conduct, it's your conduct that is the best proof of, of your character. Talent can bring you to the top of all successes. It is only character that can keep you there. It's only character that can keep you there. And John Maxwell, the famous John Maxwell, written so many books and Bible, and he said, talent is a gift, but your character is a choice. Talent is a gift, but your character is a choice. What are the things that you do or that we do when others are not there? When no one is seeing us? When no one can challenge us? What are the things that we do when no one can say, this, I know you. What are you doing? When no one can question your, 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 your power. When no one can question your authority. As Christians, the Lord has promised us all things. If you look at Luke chapter 12, Luke, the book of Luke chapter 12, Luke chapter 12, I read from verse 27 to 32. 
Bible says that consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. Yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek seek not ye what ye shall eat and what ye shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. In verse 31 it says, But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all, all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It is the father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. And... I dare ask this evening to ask, when you get the kingdom, will you be able to handle the success that comes with it? We need to go into ourselves tonight, and even when we get home, when we want to sleep tonight, and begin to ask ourselves, are there things that, can, that will let me keep that, 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 those things I'm asking God for? The blessings that God has prepared for me, am I able to keep? what the Lord is going to bless me with. Am I, shortchanging my, am I going to shortchange myself due to my character? A man's true test of character is when success of power and money comes. Then and only then, you know the true personality of that person. Money and power, I've seen it in, in friends, I've seen it In government officials, I've seen it around, and we have seen that people cannot are not able, not all. People are not able, some people are not able to keep their head straight when money comes in. They are able to keep their head straight when power gets to them. And for me, finally, this evening, or as we are as we are rounding up, I want us to I want to just ask this question. Do you think that Delilah was the cause of Samson's downfall? Do you think that Delilah was the cause of Samson's downfall? Anyone? Delilah asked of this, he asked of that. Do you think that Delilah is actually the cause of his downfall? Anybody, please? Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I don't think she is um, because the Lord says he will not take you where the grace of God will not lead you or will not be able to cover you. I think he knew the covenant that was guiding him, but he went against it. So he was the cause of his problem, not Delilah. He knew the covenant that was was guiding him and he went against it. Okay, there's somebody here. Delilah was not the cause of Samson's downfall. At every time there is danger, we, we, we as children of God know where we should not tread. And that does not mean that those dangers don't exist. Samson already knew the, the covenant that was on him. So going to Delilah was his own making. So he caused his own downfall. But I guess he must also have taken the grace of God for granted. Because he had done that times and times over. And he had seen the power come irrespective. Thank you for that word. Taking the grace of God for granted. Took the grace of God for granted. Any other person? Any other? Well. Okay, please. The Bible said in life we will go through trials and tribulation, but we should be of good cheer 
that we will overcome. Yeah. Delilah was his trial and temptation. He could not overcome. It was his own making. It has nothing to do with God. Like my brother said, he took God for granted. Took God for granted. Delilah was just acting the second script of what had happened earlier. Delilah was not the first woman to ask Samson up to the point that he gave in. The, if, we, if we backtrack to um, chapter 14, if we read verse 14 from 13 to like 19, and he said something of in um, verse... Verse 7. Verse 18. Said verse 18. And said, And the man of city said unto him on the seventh day before the sun went down, What is sweeter than honey? And what is stronger than a lion? And he said unto them, If ye had not plowed with my ephah, ye had not found out my riddle. Samson's weakness had already been found out. Women, it cannot, it doesn't have a long staying power. It gets irritated easily. He doesn't know exactly. He knows that, look, if there is anything that I need to, anything that's going to bother me too much, I'd rather let it go. Rather letting it go, rather letting it go, he let go of the thing that, that tied him to the Almighty God. He let go of the mercy of the Almighty God. The Bible says that when the seven locks were taken off, the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord departed from him. The thing, the only thing that was still the strand that was holding him to the helm of, 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 the, of, of the Almighty, he cut it off by taking his grace for granted. I pray that we will not take grace of God for granted in the mighty name of Jesus. Because for us as Christians, there are so many things that happen to us on a daily basis that we think, oh, I can handle this one. Okay, let me just do this one. You never know that last time. That one time, that one thing that you will do that will just hold the grace. But I pray that the grace of the Almighty God will be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Despite, Samson despises God-given right and threw it all away. And I sum this up in, like, in what, is, what um, Solomon wrote, wrote in Proverbs. Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29, verse 1. The Bible says, He that being often reproved, addeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. He that often, he that been often reproved, addeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. For someone, someone tonight, for someone here tonight, there is a chance to make amends. There is a chance to make amends to come back to the Almighty God. In Zach the Bible, the Bible passage that the King prayed with said there is mercy in the house. There is mercy with our Almighty God. And mercy actually has returned into the house. No one can see you, but God is looking and is given a chance for us to make amends tonight. If you are here tonight and you know that these are the things that have been giving you challenges, that has been holding you and you, are, you, you, it, you, you think that I cannot fight this on my own, you need to link up with the Almighty God. You need to tap into the power that's available with God, that's able to help you. The Bible says resist the devil and he will, he will flee. You can resist only by the power of the Almighty. Shall we bow down our heads tonight? And let's just begin to tell the Almighty that, Father, I thank you for your grace upon my life. I thank you 